Today we're going to use color counters. Now I have some fancy color counters. They're yellow on one side and red on the other side. The yellow side represents positive one. The red side represents negative one. Now, if you don't have color counters, you can use anything that you might have at the house, like two different colors of Legos. Or you could use pennies to where the head represents positive one and tails represents negative one. You could also make your own manipulatives out of strips of paper. So I cut up little squares to represent positive numbers and little squares to represent negative numbers. Anything that you can use, you want to be able to designate one set is positive integers and the other set are negative integers.